Why are you after Medrano? When I was a child, General Medrano came to our house. He shot my father, then strangled my mother and sister. I was too young to be in any trouble. Next time will be different. Seems we're both using green to get to somebody. And then you lost somebody too. Yes, I did. Looks like our man, burn scars on his face. I think we found our bomb maker. Stop touching your ear. Hello, and welcome to 60 Second Gamer once again. I am Mr. Anthony Tremaine. Joining me in the studio is Mr. Simon Pryor. Good evening, um, or morning, or afternoon, depending on when you're listening. Don't to. nab my catchphrase from Mission Impossible, you swine. I'll sue you for that. You were to say something beginning with N or a K. A silent K. N or a K. You were, you knave. You yeah. knocker. Um, or tit. Yeah. Whichever you prefer. And Mr. Hatton. I'm bulbous. <laughs> I like that word. I've decided I like Bulbous. that word. Bulbous. 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 Especially if you say it like that. Yeah. The breasts Bul are bulbous. Bulbous. Yes, bulbous. <laughs> I like it. I, I decided at work I, I'm going to start saying it. Along with, oh, it's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's the man of catchphrases. Oh, it's a baby. It's bulbous. Oh, it's a oh, bulbous, it's a bulbous, bulbous baby. baby. <laughs> yeah. Not yes, quite so good. No, it's not no. no. Combine the two, not so we'll good. find it, a way around. It waters it down. Yeah. You'll find on a their way own, it. dynamite. Together, not quite. Also, good. depends on context. Yeah. yeah. You can also tell us while we're drinking tea by the. Uh, that you can't have a quick swig of tea, I've decided. No. You have to have sort of like a swig, acknowledge it's hot, and swallow it very quickly, which takes <laughs> quite a while. Well, you yeah. do what all blokes do, but not women, and slurp it. Like so. Yeah. Thus. I mean, I've never seen a lady slurp I tea. have. Wendy. She's, she won't never listen to this. She's, so I can she's in the loosest sense yeah. of the term. <laughs> yeah. oh, don't say the word loose when we're mentioning about Wendy. That's just... Oh, that's a bad move. <laughs> anyway, we are talking about... Speaking of... We've, we've gone from Wendy, vulgar, to a vulgar game. Yeah. It's which not is that bad. Quantum of, it, uh, it's distinctly average, I think. Well, well, just under average, I think. Just yeah. under is, is fair for it. Because it's not Quantum of Solace. It's Casino Royale. There is... With Quantum but, but of Solace. Yeah. <laughs> It, it is four levels. They've rebadged it. They should be carrying on playing this, really. I'm yeah, please. Control, really. Um, See, I, on, on, the, on the subject of tea, I can drink it without slurping when it's cooled down a bit. Oh, yeah. When, when it's still hot. But who, drink, who drinks like not warm tea, apart from Anthony? Because he's a freak. I drink tea whatever <laughs> temperature it is. Oh, it's, it's first and third person. Yeah, it doesn't do it very well. It's, it's like, this is it's my like, first proper oh, game. It's like the bad, a bad Rainbow Six. Mm. Yeah, it's not very good at all. It's it just feels like your poor man's everything, really. It's some oh, some villains on a speedboat, of course. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Here's, here's the here's the shitty. Yeah, that a quick that, time event takedown. Yeah, that yeah. just doesn't appeal to me to be very good as like birdstone. Love for objects that can be detonated by gunfire. Because I wasn't aiming at that then. You fucking cunt. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it can get and and is shitting playing. cunt then. <laughs> <laughs> and is playing uh, the game as we podcast, so uh, there will be. He's, he's doing it the hardcore way. He's playing it on agent, yeah, which is one below the hardest setting. 007. Where is he? He, but is. he didn't want to play it on, on Agent, but uh, because we shared the responsibility of playing it to complete it because he was bored, uh, I forced him into the harder game level. Yeah. Because I don't play games on easy or medium anymore. I'm a, I'm a sadist. Hardcore. I'm a sadist. <laughs> he, go, he goes for the hard stuff. Of course, I can't open that door till the uh, villain has broken through. Of course. No. Yeah. Blocking. Take him out. Choke slam. Yeah. What? Um, so, the game, 007 it's Quantum pants. of Solace, uh, is developed by Treyarch on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Uh, Eurocom for the PlayStation 2. Bizarrely, people are still developing games for that. Um, I bet you'd still find a PS1 game you've made not that long ago. Sounds like a good, good chance. I mean, people are still doing uh, Dreamcast games. Yeah. Uh, obviously not uh, official, but uh, they are still sort of developing it uh, as part of the homebrew uh, 
seen, but um, also developed by Beanox for the uh, for the PC and Beanox. for the Wii. Beanox, <laughs> yeah, That's and Vicarious that. Visions for the Nintendo DS. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's published by Activision, who, as we've established previously, are scum. Yeah. Um, and it was re- released in uh, October slash November two thousand and eight. This is a rare. Oh, was it really occurrence. that long ago? Yep. Why this is a rare occurrence where Europe got the game uh, four days before America. Uh, wow. Technically, though, that does happen quite a lot with. Bot- I mean, we get the films before American. Yeah, America even before American. Yeah, before American. <laughs> No. Oh, fuck off, Judy. Please. Oh, it's got the same um, sort of um, between level template that they've carried on in Bloodstone and Goldeneye, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. And in Bloodstone, did it better. Yeah, Goldeneye I'd also did it better. Goldeneye did yeah. it as well. Well, Goldeneye is very much in this vein, but, uh, but better. I'm fucking wounded they didn't bring that out for anything else. Mm. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, that's supposed to be a sold-out opera house, and there is no one there. Well, I think the point of this level is that you're sneaking in to begin with. But uh, uh, when did he sneak in in the game, in the film? Sorry, he sort of snuck backstage. But that's about it. I mean, in fairness, a lot of the um, the Bond games do take liberties slightly with the story. But oh, this... to call to call this Quantum of Solace and have like at least sixty percent of the levels based on Casino Royale is a bit of a Bit of a push. This this no. this this takes creative liberties to a whole new level because I mean you'll see in the review that and you'll see as I play the levels in a minute the the quantum uh, the casino oh, fuck, yeah the levels of the film before this one are so overly over the top. From the mother. Uh, yes, it is well spotted. Um, it's it's just incredible. It's like the free run sequence at the beginning. They have absolutely destroyed because it was just. I don't remember there being hundreds of enemies. Well, again, that attacking. is they've, they've got to make the um, the game exciting to play. I suppose to have it. Absolutely replicate the uh, the film would be boring. Would be a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, but it would also be. Well, I mean, if you've got lots of enemies, then oh, what the fuck am I doing wrong here? Then that oh. makes sense. That makes sense from a gaming perspective because it gives yeah. you something to do. Um, so general gameplay: it's uh, first person with a mixture of um, third person. Uh, yeah, of course. Sort of nonsense, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nonsense being the opportune word. I'm yeah. Fucking. Thank you. You're stuck. You're stuck. I didn't play this level. Rich played this one. I went to McDonald's while he was playing this. <laughs> and I came back. I feasted it. Yeah. Bond oh. has been electrocuted. To death! <laughs> Killed. To death! I think that'll do for that level. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be fucked. Um, so, uh, it's a, obviously a single player game. There is a multiplayer element. There is a multiplayer it. option, but again, I bought this when the network was down, so I haven't played it on, on, online. I can only imagine it's horrific. I yeah, there, there is. Um, playing it anymore. It does let you play um, of the various versions. We're playing the PS3 version uh, for Xbox, PS3, and the PC. Uh, it supports twelve-player online games, uh, deathmatch. The Wii version supports four players online and offline. Um, oh, I love the unlockables, videos, MI60 briefing rooms, and credit credits. How, in what sense of the term, the Game developers these days class credits as unlockable. They've always done that. Have they? Pretty much. I just remember it being... In ca- oh. Just in case you want to sit through three minutes of credits. Yeah, of course. But not complete the game. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Have you ever killed someone? <laughs> Casino Royale for the rest of the game. Oh, I mean, it's like this, this level in the cavern... Uh, um, in Casino Royale, there's helicopters and whatever attacking you. In the film, they just solid. Yeah, whichever one. They just have a quaint conversation in the film, and then bugger off. Sorry. He looks nothing like the chap in the film. 
Oops. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's, it is essentially. There was a little bit of, of silent air then, I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah. Dead air is a crime. Yes. I mean, this, this level's not bad, but it, it, this just didn't happen in the game. No. In the film. Uh, much like the flashing back of the whole. I mean, okay, yeah, you've got to give people um, something to do, but. What do you think that they, they realised that Quantum. There wasn't enough to do in Quantum of Solace the film? But there was, though, so. Well, no, not really. I mean. Why did Quantum of Solace warrant a video game in the first place? Because they didn't do one for Casino Royale. But no, but <laughs> it doesn't need one. No. I mean, it's just... they. Uh, I don't know, it just doesn't work. I don't think. I really <laughs> despise it now. After playing okay. it so much and actually going through it. I would... Now how the fuck did you kill me from there? Um... Downloadable content, has there been any released for it? Not that I know of. There might have been, but to be honest, I won't lie, I couldn't really give a shit. No. <laughs> I mean, what, what I won't be down to it. Here's how Bond could have taken this man now. <laughs> here's, here's more of... Cause see, here's, here's some of uh, Pierce Brosnan's films for you. Daniel Craig flashing even further back. Play through the world is not enough. I remember when I was a Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was actually a, 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 a different Englishman. Splendid. Oh. I remember when I was being paid by an Irish chap. I remember when I was, uh, when I was a model. Well, that never happened to the other fellow. <laughs> oh, fucking. Yeah. You're not very um, that'll, that'll do for that. Rather, uh, rather interesting, interestingly, the PlayStation 2 version is an over the shoulder third person shooter, much uh, like uh, Everything or Nothing, uh, but more similar to Resident Evil 4. Hmm. So that may be worth picking up and giving a go. Maybe, but it's probably still a shit. But there's no multiplayer, and the uh, that version doesn't include missions such as Miami Airport and Train, but it adds missions such as Docks, where you're playing uh, a Port au Prince part of the movie. What? Port au Port au Prince or Port au Prince? Don't remember there being a bit in a port. To be honest. It's not a port. It's the name of a town. Oh, okay. That was uh, that was quite a clever level. The bit where you were poisoned in Casino Royale. It's the capital and largest city of Haiti. Of course. I mean, where else is there? I mean, yeah, the, the train level, for example. In the film was a conversation between Vesper and Bond. It was to introduce the two together. Yeah. But in this... Actually, this this whole menu screen is exactly the same as GoldenEye on the, the Wii. Yeah. The, um, whole, the whole design of it, that's exactly what they do. Exactly the same. Another thing, I think they changed the canon, don't they? Because you end up killing Demetrios from Casino Royale. Which you... He who? Did, he, but he, oh, yeah, what he did, but he didn't, like... Shoot him in the face. He didn't shoot him in the head. He no. discreetly stabbed him. Yeah. Had a very freaky... <laughs> Ah, Werner von Vungen. 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 Yeah, oh, I can't actually skip this. Fine. Okay. But, so, um, yeah, it, it just, it takes everything from Casino Royale and what little of Quantum of Solace is actually in here, and it just blows it utterly out of proportion and takes it completely over the top. And I really, it just wasn't a good idea. I hate what they've done to the films because they were both <laughs> fucking brilliant films. The whole idea well, of... Quantum of Solace. Not okay, so Quantum of Solace, upon my third viewing, was okay. Casino Royale was fantastic. I but agree with that. It's just like... I mean, this level, they have you going to kill the person who you're now taking the cover of, whereas in the film, he was just given the cover because it was made up. And it's, it's uh, again, and this is the same with pretty much yeah. every... Um, Pretty much every Bond game ever. They they always elaborate and expand upon. So yeah, there you are. But I just they haven't. So I mean, there are going to be liberties, but when they take too many, that's the point where you sort of think, "Hang on." They have taken far too many. Of this. I can't even remember. Fucking hell. There is a few. There you go. There you go. But, I mean, oh, look, now he's he's gone all Mission Impossible and he's on the roof of the of the train. What's this all about? Where where is this all from? wet? It's just not. I just hate what they've done to it. They've bastardised. I mean, the whole idea of Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale 
There's an agent on the it, roof. Was that they weren't? Oh, of course they've spotted me. even though I've not touched any of the windows. Yeah, well, I think you were probably meant to be crouched there. Oh uh, yeah. Was that they weren't? Oh, Yo, oh Bob shit! I've dead. been pushed off the train. <laughs> is that they weren't over? Especially Casino Royale, because I mean, there's like three explosions in total in that film. Yeah. Compared to most Bond films, it wasn't an over-the-top Bond film, and they've taken these and gone. Oh, okay. Let's turn them back into like Pierce Brosnan era Bond films, which were over the top and just it just doesn't work. And I hate it. You know what though? What? It may be bad and not very good, but there's you can't help but not play it. Yeah, it's like Mission Impossible. It's cocaine. It's morbid curiosity. You just yeah. have to get to the next bit just to see what they're going to do next with it. Yeah. Can, can, can it stay this shit, or is it? I mean, because it's developed by Treyarch, and it is based on the Infinity War uh, engine as well. It's not, it, you know, the shooting's not terrible, but it's not brilliant either. It's a bit clunky, but you know, I, I've, I've played worse. Yeah, but I mean, it's just. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not as good as it should have been. No, I think that's the uh, the key. Thing. And I, I, I won't lie. I despise it. Not because it's possibly, you know, I mean, gameplay wise, it ain't that bad. It's the it's what they've done to the films. I hate it. For. I mean, the Bond franchise has always been one of my favourites, and they've just destroyed one of my favourite Bond films completely. Because I loved for the fact that it wasn't so over the top, and they taken it completely opposite way and it's it's verging on uh, latter day uh, Roger Moore yeah it's shit <laughs> then you can make the same point about Goldeneye and the Wii yeah um, that's completely based on the film I'm not trying to you know um, sub, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, apologise uh... make excuses <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to make excuses for this game but if you look at any game based on a film, it tends to be exaggerated. Yeah, always the way. Yeah, but there's exaggerating and then there's just... Well, the thing is, calling the game Quantum of Solace is a bit of a misnomer because, I mean... Well, you don't actually play that much of Quantum of Solace. Yeah. No. That, that's, that's the key problem with it. I mean, taking liberties with the story, that's fine mm -hmm. uh, from a game perspective because, as we said earlier, replicating the film beat for beat isn't going to be that interesting to do. Oh no. But um, calling the game Quantum of Solace and then having most of it Casino Royale, Casino Royale yeah, I mean, that's a problem. The world is not enough. The game for that over exaggerated bits of it. I mean it's like when he's running through the streets of London after he gets off the the Q-boat. Yeah, that never and happened in the film. Lots of but that wasn't overly the, destroying the film though. That sort of was like, yeah, here's a little bit extra that could have been in the film, which in the Pierce Brosnan era, it would have. Yeah. But this was a far more gritty, a realistic film, and this sort it of made thing, it silly. Yeah, this Stop sort of thing silly. wouldn't have happened, and they just they may as well have just done a, a Golden Eye, and replaced him with Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. Um, hey ho. What are you gonna do? Um, I think Kill we covered it. everything else. So, uh, last thing to wrap up is uh, what three games would you recommend that people <laughs> play instead of this? Fucking or up. if they enjoyed this one, what would you recommend that they, um, they gave a go? Call of Duty, maybe? As what? it's Treyarch. Which Call of Duty? Oh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> Do I say World, World of War or Black Ops? World of War, maybe, because those are not supposed to be the weaker of the two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, World at War, Call of Duty, say, um, World at War. Rainbow Six, like I mentioned, because of the fact that you go into cover. Yeah. And it's like a cover shooter. Um, yeah. But in Rainbow Six, obviously, you're part of a, a, a three man team, so. Yeah. And. You are allowed to name another Bond game if you really want. I mean, I'll probably say Goldeneye on the yeah. Wii, because that's, that's similar to this, but it does it a lot better, because it's not it's based on a game which is based on a film. So instead of. What they've done with GoldenEye for the Wii is that they've just rebooted it completely. That it's inspired by um, the original GoldenEye film, but it doesn't uh, emulate it. So as a result, they're allowed to take liberties with the story, mm -hmm. with the characters, redesign everything, and do it all pretty much from scratch. So from that side of it, uh, I'd probably say GoldenEye for the Wii. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'd quite like, quite yeah, like them. 
to do that with a lot of the Bond films, just out of morbid curiosity as to see what they would be like if Daniel Craig was in them instead, and they were yeah. darker and grittier. I mean, I'd like to see them do it with the Bond films, <coughs> yeah. because that's personally one of my favourites. But all tomorrow never dies, you know. But man, nah, we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? Indeed. One thing I also want to quickly mention about this game. Um, the cutscenes in between, well, no, they're not really cutscenes, the in between bits where the loading screens are taking place. The um, It doesn't really make that much sense context wise because. There's a chap he's forwarding, isn't there? Yeah, he's. It's meant to be flashing back to the game, uh, to, you know, various bits and pieces from Casino Royale. But yeah, that's what I meant, and mentioned M and some other bloke conversing. And just, they're it's like, not actually oh, M. Is it not? No, okay, it's, you've only got 25 white. seconds. Oh, okay, Mr. White. But anyway, they yeah. keep going, like, oh, wind it on six months or whatever. Let's see them in Venice. Or yeah, it's like, what, what's that about? Yeah, it just. And then it ends. They go back to Quantum of Solace and to just kick you in the fucking balls one last time, they don't even end it like Quantum of Solace. They end it completely differently and leave it on a cliffhanger that's got nothing to do with the film. They're like, just what you want. Yeah, and I really sincerely hope they never make another one. <laughs> in fact, just leave the Bond franchise alone. In fact, no, because they said they're going to make a direct, either a direct sequel to Bloodstone or uh, use the same engine they use for Bloodstone to do a tie-in for the next film. Yeah. So if they do that, we'll be really good, to be honest, because Bloodstone was fucking brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But this, I bought this on the pretext that it would be a little bit like Bloodstone and it's nothing and it like it. it's just general cack it's, it's it's like a blue waffle looks disgusting and I imagine I've seen one. no I, I, I've not looked it up on Google but I've heard it doesn't look very nice and no doubt probably feels disgusting as well yeah much like this does i would be quite tempted to try and track down the PS2 version give that a go but Maybe, but I won't. I'm going to add it to my uh, my list and see if I can find it. Yeah. If not, I'll, I may be able to rent it. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. But, um, right, anything else that you want to... Uh, uh, about the game? Ava Green is delicious. About the game. She's in the game. Ah, a representation touche. About the actual game. Because you're actually talking game. about a computer representation. Her of voice Green. is delicious. Right, okay. There you go. <laughs> better that's better I can have that ok uh, anything else you'd like to add Mr Hat on no ok let me come done with it done <laughs> D- done with it can't go done can't right do um, there are several ways you can get in touch with us uh, if you'd like to send any questions queries or comments uh, you can email us which uh, the email address is info at randomsoap.com you can Contact us through the YouTube site. There he goes. Look, someone fast forwarded. Ah, uh, nah. YouTube.com forward slash random stoat and leave a comment either on the video or on the, uh, the channel homepage itself. Or you can go to randomstoat.com to find all of our videos, podcasts, and other projects. Or finally, you can send us a message on Twitter, which is at random stoat. Uh, so that covers everything. Uh, Thank you for listening if you have been and or if you made it this far through and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.